I wasn't victimising Lloyd for any of that. It was so, it is in the name of science. <laughs> well, maybe in the name of science, some serious experiment should be conducted on you. Oh, God. Great, up you go. <laughs> Experiment, uh, Greg is going to see what life is like without the sun. Right. But Greg, you're on a, an exercise bike because uh, we thought that without the sun, you might A, get cold, and B, you might need to generate your own electricity. So I think you should oh. start pedalling. Right. And I should let you know, if we think that you're not pedalling fast enough and the temperature drops, then you will, uh, you will, you will feel a temperature drop. Of course, if the sun disappeared, Lloyd, Lloyd you guys holding a what's that an eye mask? It, it would be dark. It'd be pitch oh, yeah. dark. Pop that yeah. on. Of course it would. <laughs> I imagine he, you, you haven't started pedalling enough yet, Greg. I imagine uh, the temperature would already be dropping now. All right, I'm pedalling. So pedal, pedal to keep yourself warm. I'm pedalling. I imagine you're not pedalling fast enough, Lloyd. Make the temperature drop. Ah! Quickly get on with it, please. Oh, Greg, you've stopped pedalling. You've stopped pedalling, oh, Greg. You don't God. want to do that. You want to keep it going, I would. Keep it going. I imagine that without the sun for a little, any length of time, oh. his, his pigmentation would start to disappear, wouldn't it? Lloyd, oh. wouldn't he start to get very pasty, I imagine? Oh. Let's see what Greg oh. might look like. <laughs> oh, he has gone very pasty. Oh. Keep pedalling, Greg, I said. Oh. Lloyd, I imagine people would start to use some kind of fake tan, wouldn't they? Oh. They're bound to, quickly. Let's get some fake tan. I mean, he looks very peaky at the moment. Oh. That's better. <laughs> He seems to have stopped pedalling again, Lloyd. The temperature might be dropping again. The temperature will be dropping again. I imagine, I imagine that a world without the sun as well, that night animals would be running riot. Urban foxes would be going through our rubbish. I imagine there'd be, I imagine there'd be bin bags full of rubbish going everywhere, wouldn't they, Lloyd? Oh, oh, it would be awful. Keep pedalling, Dave. Keep pedalling. Keep pedalling. Would it be very difficult to find food? And there'd probably be only tin food available, wouldn't it? Oh, only yeah. tin food, I imagine. Let's get some nice what? tin food. <laughs> oh, oh, don't tell me that in in the darkness, Greg has picked up dog food by mistake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but he's. Ridiculous. Lloyd, have you got anything there that might take the taste away of that horrible dog food? Is there anything you can lay your hands on that might keep might keep Greg warm at the same time as taking the taste to? Oh, that better not have been dog food, genuinely. Look, look, look what we found hanging over from show four. Do you remember show four, Greg, when you fed Lloyd something? Try this. Oh no! Try that! Try that. <laughs> have a good old bite and he stopped pedaling again. Oh. Right? Enjoy the chilli from show four, Greg. Do you not remember feeling... Oh, my God! You seemed a lot happier when you fed that to Lloyd. With the ice. <laughs> Listen, I imagine Lloyd, cos if... Would Greg be the only person left? He'd have to keep the human race going, wouldn't he? He'd have to try and reproduce with whoever was around. I, I imagine, with the sun gone and everybody dead, it's probably you and only the strongest, fittest people would survive, isn't it, Lloyd? Uh, that's entirely true. I'm afraid to let you know, Greg, that the only other person left alive is Glenn Ross, Britain's current... <laughs> Strongest man. Oh no! Oh no, Greg! It seems that like you and Greg. Hurry up! 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 tonight and indeed for the whole series so people of Britain thank you for watching and thank you tonight to Erin Bogue <laughs> Katie Brown <laughs> Greg Davis <laughs> my flatmate Lloyd <laughs> our authenticator Kay Adams <laughs> and the UK's strongest man and Greg's newfound love Glenn Ross and you can ask me literally anything. Good night.